What does it mean to be dependable? It means you do what you say you'll do time and time again. That's why the cattlemen of this great nation trust Ritchie to provide fresh water on demand. Ritchie, proud to be a partner to the American cattlemen since 1921. Hello, I'm Troy Bockelman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Ritchie Watering Systems. Each week, the USDA releases the featuring activity for retail stores. On a four-week average basis, beef featuring was 5.9 ads per store, the highest rate since April 2012, and 9% above a year ago. Choice products are the most advertised, followed by branded products. The primal weighted beef featuring price was $5.75 on a four-week average, the lowest price since April 2014. Pork featuring was at 3.8 ads per store, 6% above a year ago, and chicken was at 1.9 ads per store, 3% below a year ago. So far in 2016, on average, 51% of total featuring was beef ads, compared to 48.5% in the same period of 2015. As mentioned last week, when retailers can move product through advertisements, they have less incentive to lower everyday prices. Retailers are choosing to feature more beef and pork this year, as opposed to the chicken, as the margins are more attractive in those products. One indication of the retail margin is the ratio between the composite cutout and the beef retail price. This ratio is currently at 31.9%, the lowest on record, indicating that retailers have historically strong margins. In 2016, per capita red meat and poultry supply is forecast to increase 1.8%. With increased production of all three major proteins, retailers have felt the need to incentivize consumers to purchase the increased supply through featuring. But with per capita supplies forecast to increase another 0.7% in 2017, retailers will need to create even more incentive to move the product to the consumer. Continuing to feature beef at a higher rate compared to other proteins is a positive for the beef market, but everyday retail prices will need to decrease in order to motivate stronger retail demand. A decrease in the everyday retail price would allow the composite cutout to retail ratio to strengthen back to a more historical normal level. The strengthening of this ratio will allow cattle feeders to find more leverage in the marketplace. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.